Hey there and welcome back to my channel. I've got a couple of comments saying that I have a huge backlog of unsolved pelican puzzles. That's not correct, uh, since I solved almost all pelican puzzles that I have, but I haven't shown you my solutions yet. Uh, I just checked uh, from the previous release, I showed you only Playboy 2, but I haven't shown you the rest 8. Ooh, my shirt matches the background color today. That's nice. So today I'm gonna show you my attempt to solve the Web3 puzzle designed by Dan Fast. If you don't know who is Dan Fast, but you're a fan of YouTube channels about puzzles, probably you know a crazy bad cuber. That is the same guy. Dan Fast designed a lot of twisty as well as boor puzzles and one of his latest designs was made by Pelican. You can have it uh, made uh, either from Garappa and Ovengol or American Walnut and Acacia. This puzzle has six parts and the object of the puzzle is to fit all six parts into the tray like this. Each piece in this puzzle is unique. Each piece has three cutouts. Some parts have uh, three completely different cutouts. The small one, the medium one and the long one. Some parts have different set of cutouts and you have to figure out the way how to fit all of them into the tray. As you can see, it is already solved since I solved it a couple of months ago when I got these puzzles from Pelican and I recorded my attempt to solve the puzzle. If you like the Web3 puzzle and you want to buy it, links to a couple of puzzle shops will be in a video description. And if you want to see my attempt to solve the Web3 puzzle, keep watching the video. So let's try to solve the Web3 puzzle. We have six parts here and I have to fit all of them into the tray. Maybe I can do it just in a completely random way and the puzzle will be solved in just 30 seconds. Let's see if it is possible. This goes here, this piece, uh, I don't think that I can solve it so quick. Okay, as you can see these two parts are sticking out and that's not the solution. That means that I have to take a closer look at the parts first and then try to figure out what to do next. So what do we have here? We have six parts, each piece has three cutouts, there are three types of cutouts, the small one, the medium and the deep one. And I have to connect the small one with the deep, like this. And the medium with the medium cutout of the other piece, like this. Okay, that looks like the begin of some assembly. Now I have to find a long piece, the deep piece, to put here. Let's see what it can be, like this one. And I have two parts left. Which part I can put where? Oh, and I already see that it is impossible to solve. This piece fits, but this one, it almost fits, but it is sticking out just a little bit here. So I have to find another way. What is wrong here? I need the medium cutout in this part but I don't even see a piece like that. Maybe this one. This one looks nice. Okay, if I put it here, it goes in, then I can fit this piece and the last one. Ooh, ah, no. This cutout is too small and I have a medium cutout in this piece. So I have to change places of these two parts and everything will be all right. Let's see. This goes out and these two parts I can... Oh, I think that I made too many moves. Mm, which piece was where? I already forgot. So I think that I was going to put maybe this part here. Let's see. It fits well. Now I have to put this one in the middle. And what I have left, ah, still the same. Still I need to change places of these two pieces. Okay, if it is possible, let's see. I need a medium cutout here and the deep cutout in here. So that's like this and I will be able to stick this piece in here. Oh, I can change piece, put pieces like this or I can rotate it and put it like this. 
Oh, that's interesting. That might be a very useful trick. So let's see, we have a couple of more parts left and I have to fit them right in here. This piece looks like it fits here. And now I have two small cutouts, but I don't have such piece to fit it. And that, that piece is right here. So probably this piece in the middle is not in the correct place. And I have to put it maybe here. Then, then I have this piece that fits right in the middle. Let's see. And I have two parts left, which is supposed to be where? Oh, this fits right in here. Ah, <laughs> that was so close. But now I have three exactly the same cutouts and I have a piece that has three completely different cutouts. Ah, that is not good. Okay, maybe I can do the trick where I can just flip the parts. Let's remove these three since they're correct. This one is in the middle is correct. I just have to do something with the rest of the parts. What if I put this piece here? Yeah, but then this cutout, not gonna match the cutout of this part. Oh, but I can flip this part as well, like this. That's interesting. Let's see. Everything looks good, except for this piece. I need, mm, no. Maybe I have to remove this part as well. Since I like how these two look, but I'm not sure if it is correct as well. Okay, so this piece may be here. Let's see what we have. We have two medium. I have to flip this part again. This fit perfect here and the last. <gasps> Ooh, done. Okay, that was fun. There was a pretty logical solution. That wasn't difficult, but there was a very satisfying solution. Probably because you need just logic and nothing else to solve this puzzle. You don't need a lot of experience. Actually, you don't need to have any experience in solving puzzles, but still you will be able to solve this puzzle. Probably it will take you more time than it took me to solve it. Well, probably like 20 or maybe 30 minutes, but you will be able to uh, put all six parts together and put them inside the tray. I talked to Dan Fast and he told me that he also designed a 4x4 version of this puzzle and 5x5 version. I don't know if it is even possible to solve 5x5 version of the puzzle, but I would like to uh, try to solve the 4x4. It will be much harder, it, it can probably take hours, but still it will be a fun puzzle to solve. So let me know in the comments if you are interested in uh, web Four, I guess that's what's going to be the name of the puzzle since it will be like four by four and let's see if we have a lot of uh, requests maybe we can convince Pelican to make the web 4 puzzle for us. That's it for today if you like the web 3 puzzle link in the video description if you enjoyed watching my video hit the like button subscribe and see you in my next video.